I've never expected this as a result. Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. I'm gonna plant a seed in your mind that's gonna make you believe everything tastes like steak. The world is a crazy interesting place and if you've ever seen the movie Inception, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not saying that's what's happening in the world, but I'm saying it's a part of reality that is expanded, that is enlarged. Just think about it. If you go to a Michelin star restaurant and you get one of these little bites that taste like something that it isn't, that's inception. I'm gonna use this to make you believe that everything tastes like steak. This is an ordinary ribeye from a black Angus cow. I'm going to cut this in half and I'm going to maximize the surface of this steak. This is your first step towards steak inception. <laughs> I'm just playing around. What I want is maximizing the surface. I need these steaks to be grilled with the insane amount of crust that I can get on it. And I know two techniques, spreading them out, making them twice as big as they are. And second is scruffing the steak. So I'm gonna score it, slice into it, making that surface even bigger. As you can see, the surface of this steak enlarged with about 400%. I'm gonna take that fat off and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And again, I enlarge the surface. Just look at what we created. It might be a very, very ugly steak, but that's not the point because we're not gonna use it as a regular steak. Both steaks are prepped and now we're gonna cook them in the best way possible. So let's fire up a Kamada Joe. Because I found that the best way to create a beautiful crust on a steak is to cook it over charcoal with a cast iron grill grate. I'm gonna add some big block charcoal, put in a couple of fire starters and light it up. My Kamada Joe is now hot and I've taken a little bit of fat off the steak and I'm going to use it to season my grill grate with, wiping off any dust and ash that's left on the grill grate. And as you can see, there's a lot of dust on this grill grate. So I'm gonna do it again until I'm left with a clean piece of fat. Let's sear that steak. I grilled these steaks until there was nothing to grill left. Completely cooked through, all the way gray. The outside is crazy crunchy. And that's exactly what I need. I am not cooking these steaks to create a nice, thick, juicy steak. No, I wanted that crust. I wanted to maximize that surface because what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna chop this up and turn it into little pieces. I know what I'm doing is going against all of the rules, but that's where the inception starts. You need to open your mind and start thinking in a different way. What can we do with this? We just made the driest, crustiest steak there is. And now I'm going to turn it into powder. Step one, I'm gonna place it on a cooling rack, maximizing the airflow around it. Slide it into a food dryer. This meat is gonna run at a temperature of around 65 degrees Celsius, and it's going to dry out that steak until there's nothing left but dry steak. That's it. It's been around 24 hours since we put the steak in the food dryer. And I checked yesterday and it was already crazy dry, but I still let it run. This is super, super dry. It feels so dry to the touch and look how easy that breaks. This is, I don't know what to call it, but it's so brittle now, just the slightest touch will break it. I won't have any problem turning this into a dust so we can actually use it on something. Of course, you can just crumble it with your fingers and it will have that nice crunchy texture still, but I wanna go for more like a powder form so I can do more things with it. I'm gonna drop it into my blender bowl. And then I'm gonna grind it until it's dust. Wow, I've never expected this as a result. I thought we would get this fine, but look, it's exactly like flour. And this is real inception. This is something that it's not. This literally is a steak that doesn't look like a steak. Kind of weird, right? And the first usable thing that comes to mind, two tablespoons of fleur de sel salt, followed by one tablespoon of steak powder. I'm gonna close the lid, 
I'm gonna mix it up and now created steak salt. This is not salt for steak. This is salt that tastes like steak. All right, let's give this a try. <laughs> steak, I'm eating steak. It's just a salty steak. I wanna have more beef in it, so I'm gonna add another tablespoon of beef or beef steak. I want more steak. The cool thing about it is, with salt, I can keep this indefinitely. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. All right, now that I got my ratio tuned, I can put this on anything that I want. For instance, this beautiful grilled steak. It's gonna make my steak more steaky. I feel like the Steakinator. Or I can put it on this beautifully juicy smoked salmon. Make that salmon taste like steak. Think about it. the possibilities. 